Chasing Freedom is four wide. Be Dancer, Real Men, Violin toward the inside as they turn for home after three quarters in one minute 14.74 seconds. Track Phantom charging on the outside as Resilience. Hall of Fame flattens out. Chasing Freedom trying to keep a straight path and Sierra Leone charging hard on the outside. It's Track Phantom. Resilience chasing Freedom in tight quarters between horses. Sierra Leone on the outside for Tyler Gaffleone. Sierra Leone. Uh, first off, all the credit goes to Chad and his team. They had him ready off the layoff. Uh, he fired big for us. Uh, I think the addition of blinkers helped him focus down the lane. Uh, but everything went to plan. He broke alertly, put himself in a great spot. And when I called on him, he really exploded. Now, you look up on the board and you see those fractions. It didn't seem like they were going very fast at all up front. Could you kind of feel that? How did, how did it play out for you with the horse knowing you had to come from off the pace? Yeah, you know, I was hoping that there would be a little bit more speed. I, on form, it looked like there would be, but, you know, you got to go out there and run the race, and I was comfortable with where I was. Congratulations. Thank you. He's been training really well here in Louisiana, and he handled the track really well every day. So I think the blinkers help him a little bit more, but he's been training so good, this horse. He's, he's in good condition right now, so I hope we can make it to the derby. Nine furlongs today, Kentucky Derby still a couple of months away, a mile and a quarter. Doesn't seem like he's going to have any issue with that added distance. I don't think so. I think he can run all day to me. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Jose Hernandez, the assistant here at Fairgrounds to Chad Brown. Chad, congratulations. It is Sierra Leone in the Risen Star. Of Sierra Leone, winner of the Risen Star stakes. Our first race post tomorrow will be